Hey, what's up everybody and welcome back to another video so today we're going to be covering a brand new game that just came out yesterday called reaper simulator 2 if you guys have played reaper simulator 1 that came out a couple of months ago you guys will be more familiar with how this game works it's very similar to like uh ninja legends and stuff like that where you go ahead and kind of swing your sword accumulate a certain amount and then sell it for a currency and that currency you use it in order to rank up and to buy new sites as well as bags so i'm going to give you guys kind of like a quick rundown on how exactly the game works if you go ahead and notice at the top i have already ranked up a bunch of different times i think i'm on rank six if i'm not mistaken my next one is going to be enforcer for 250 trillion so i'm going to go ahead and give you guys just a quick little rundown on how everything works they have added a couple of things recently with the most recent update this morning and also go ahead and share a couple of codes that are in the game right now that are public to everybody so you guys can get a good head start but with all of that being said let's go ahead and waste no more time and get right into the video so as i had said before this is a pretty straightforward game it works the same as just about every other simulator that's out right now it's basically you just kind of swing you don't really have to do much of course there is other ways that you can accumulate your currency uh souls can be collected around the map by jumping around and collecting them there's also crowns that are located around the map there's certain areas that do give you a little bit of a bonus if you come over here to where this giant tree is there is a bubble you can probably see it right there that bubble will give you a 20 percent increase on your skulls so the skulls up here which is basically what you get every time that you swing so if you were to stand right here in the center you will get a total of 20 percent more skulls every single time that you swing so this is definitely really useful if you have a vip server like i do myself this will help you out a lot now if you come to the top of this mountain over here you'll notice that there's a little cloud right there with a purple platform if you go ahead and head up there you'll be able to stand on that platform and accumulate one soul every second which is actually really useful because it's kind of hard to get souls right now i know i have a pretty large amount but it's because i am already ranked up a bunch of times so i do a lot of damage to the chest which i know i haven't shown you the chest yet but we're going to be showing you guys that afterwards let me just go ahead and get right here to this spot so if you notice right there it says plus one souls per second uh, so it, as you stand in here you will accumulate them over time so that's definitely really cool and definitely really useful now if we head on over here to the spawn where you guys are going to be coming in you'll notice that there's three chests once you come in this chest updates every single 20 minutes so if you notice right there i just collected it it gave me a little bit of crowns and it gave me a little bit of souls over here this one i think it updates every single 12 hours i've already collected this one this morning unfortunately but both of these chests are going to be extremely useful obviously this one you're going to want to get every single time that you log in and this one you want to keep an eye on this because it is going to help you out especially when you start getting your wings and your trails and your effects those are really important i'm going to be talking about those in a second but before we get into that i want to show you guys a couple of codes right here it says famous reapers these codes are public for everyone obviously these are other content creators you can use these codes and they give you a really good amount of souls so i definitely recommend that you guys redeem these right now obviously the first one is sub to cookie then snuggy gaming dan and sub to jojo craft so make sure that you guys use these codes they're going to help you out a ton and i'm going to show you guys exactly where you go right now in order to be able to purchase your crates so on the left hand side here you'll notice these three little dots you're going to go ahead and click on these and you're going to have a bunch of different options the one that you want to go for is store inside of store at the very bottom you'll see crates here is where you purchase all of your crates with souls now if you notice there is a bunch of different rarities you have common uncommon rare epic and legendary in my opinion i don't really recommend spending any money on the legendary because there is still a very small chance that you can still get uncommons while it isn't possible for you to get commons it is possible to get uncommons which is really unfortunate if you spend 2000 souls and you end up pulling an uncommon now one thing to keep in mind is that the wings and the effect ones are the exact same price the trail ones are a little bit cheaper so if you don't really have too many souls and you haven't gotten a decent trail i would recommend that you guys spend a lot into your trail all of these help you out a lot i'm going to show you guys in my inventory what i got Currently, I'm using a Tomb Crawler Trail, which gives me times 5.2 on my crowns. The effects, I have a legendary one, which is the Void Combustion. This one gives me times 14.2 on crowns. And then my wings, I'm currently using the Harpy Queen, which give a times 6.6. .6. So these are extremely useful for your crowns. It's going to help you not only rank up quicker, but it's also going to help you purchase your sites and your bags a lot quicker. So that's the next thing I'm going to show you guys here. If you head on over to the shop, you'll notice that there is a bunch of sites for you to buy. 
I'm currently on the one that is, I think this one's worth like, yeah, 12 trillion. And then the one after that is 22 trillion. I'm obviously not going to buy that right now because I have 252 trillion, which is just enough for me to hit the next one. And I'm going to go ahead and actually do that right now. So the one after that is outlaw for 2.5 Q. That is in saying that it's going to take me so long to do but it offers a really good multiplier so i definitely want to grind for that and on top of that every single time that you do rank up you will receive plus 500 souls so that's definitely something that you want to keep in mind for the first starting ranks now if we take a look over here obviously the bags are all located here nothing too crazy very similar to all the other sims now the both spots that i showed you the one at the tree and the one up on the hill are the only two real secret spots where you can kind of farm um, around the map you will find scattered different rarity chests these will give you a small amount of crowns as well as souls for instance if you look right over here there is a small common one you can walk up to this and attack it and it will go ahead and do damage to it unfortunately they are pretty difficult to do when you first start off because once you're rank one you only do one damage to each of these chests currently like i said i'm rank seven so i do a total of seven damage to each of the chests so as you progress in the game, it is going to become a lot easier to take down these chests. Keep in mind, this is a common one, so it only has 240 health. The epic ones, I think, have somewhere around 1200 health. So definitely being a higher rank is going to make things a lot easier for you. So you want to make sure that you focus on those ranks and not just stay in the first one and grind all the way to the end to the last scythe. Now, as you can see, because I'm rank seven, every single time that I slice one time, I end up having a full inventory. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to rack up a couple of coins here so that, that way I can upgrade my bag. Let's head back to the shop. Let's go ahead and purchase the next bag. So we got 51K. I'm going to drop 35K on my bag and then we'll drop the last 16K on a scythe. This should help us out a lot. Boom, we're now at 50K. Then let's go ahead and do a couple more here so we can get an even better scythe. I think we're going to go for the 75K one. Actually, 110. We should be able to get an even better one than the 75K. Let's check it out here really quick. Uh, actually, there isn't. I thought there was a 75K one. All right, we'll get the 35... Oh, not 35 mil. What am I talking about? There is a 75K one. I was looking at the mil. All right, we're going to get the 75K and then... We got to save up now for the 145 or the 210, which this shouldn't be too hard because now, wait, you see, I don't think we had the, the new scythe equipped before. Yeah, that makes more sense. 16 mil. That's what I should be getting. All right, perfect. So now we head back over here. Uh, we got 24 mil now. So let's go ahead and head down. Ah, oh, we should have just gotten the 26 mil. Let's sell one more time. Boom, 26 mil. Head back, grab the new scythe. Oh, now we're really filling up instantly. That's crazy. Uh, but yeah, so I, I didn't really talk about this before. I forgot to actually mention this one. But if you notice, there is a third chest in the main lobby. And that third chest is only for VIP. Uh, unfortunately, the VIP system, the way that it works is it's not one time purchase. You actually have to purchase it in kind of like a membership type thing. So for six hours, you spend 49 Robux, three days, 399 Robux, seven days, 749 and so forth. Now, Unfortunately, I don't really see a purpose to buying VIP right now. The only real cool things that you get are VIP chat and the exclusive chest. Triple jump just seems a little pointless to me right now. Um, I guess it would help you a little bit in getting to this one, but it's really unnecessary. You don't really need triple jump. Maybe in the future, VIP will be more useful. But for the time being, I don't really think that purchasing it just for this chest is worth it. If anything, you should probably invest your coins on like three times crown i feel like that'll be a lot more useful or auto sell that'll help a lot but yeah definitely a really cool game i've been playing it since the moment that it came live this is the reason why i believe i'm like ranked 80 or 90 something like that also if you head over here this is where you'll find the leaderboards go ahead and walk all the way down here i'm going to show you guys really quickly what rank i'm at right now because i have been taking a little bit of downtime to record this video so i could have been knocked off the leaderboards let's go ahead and check here um I'm 87th right now, so you guys are probably seeing a different rank on the thumbnail because I took it a lot earlier, but yeah, I, the game is fun. It's a lot of fun. I'm not going to lie. It, it does give me the big nostalgic feel of Ninja Legends. I don't know if you guys are going to feel the same way about it, but hopefully you guys do enjoy it. If you want to see some more videos on this, let me know in the comments. I'll definitely make a lot more. 
I was going to record from the very start of my entire journey, but unfortunately it was really late at night and I couldn't record a video. But you'll definitely be getting a video as soon as update one drops for this game. So make sure that you guys stick around for that. Turn on notifications and subscribe to the channel. Also, if you enjoyed it, I would really appreciate it if you guys would drop a like on the video. It does help get my content out there. But yeah, that's pretty much going to do it for today's video. Like always, I will see you guys in the next one. Take care.